morning everybody. I've just dropped Jay off at the train station. Uh, it's 5.51 and I'm off for my morning walk. I'm just going to go pick my friend up first. And it's nice because uh, the mornings are getting a lot lighter now so we don't have to walk in like pitch black. having a cup of tea. Hi, I'm Shelley's friend, Desiree. <laughs> Shelley's playing ladies, everybody. It's very English. <laughs> it's breakfast time and I don't have a clue what to have. I didn't get round to doing my food shopping yesterday, so... I mean... I've got yogurt, but this is what Jay eats, and it's got quite a bit of sugar in it. 24 grams of sugar, which is a lot, so I don't want to have that. And here I've got leftover stir fry that kind of needs to go in the bin. I've got some eggs left, but I just don't feel like eggs today. I think I'm having one of those days where I just don't really feel like anything, but I'm hungry. <laughs> I think I'm gonna make two boiled eggs and um, have some strawberries with it. I just weighed myself, guys, and I think I'm a bit, I don't know, I just feel a bit off. I didn't lose any weight once again and I don't know if I'm doing something wrong because I I ate perfect all week and last night uh, my best friend came around and we had um, a little bit of wine. I had two glasses of wine but I don't think having two glasses of wine would like affect my weight loss at all because it's only two glasses so I don't know I feel like me eating perfect all week should outweigh two glasses of wine you know. I don't know if it's just because my metabolism's really slow or if I'm just having like a plateau, but this, the scales literally haven't moved very much in a long time and it's, it's just getting hard. <laughs> like I'm trying to keep positive and yeah, I don't know, it's just getting hard. I feel like I don't know if I'm, what I'm doing is right like I feel like I'm doing everything right I just don't know if my body thinks I'm doing everything right like I most of you know what I eat like usually I'll have eggs for breakfast um, and then I'll have a morning snack of maybe like a protein bar and then for lunch I always have a salad with protein and then I'll have another snack of maybe some nuts or Sometimes I have a, a Greek yogurt and then for dinner I'll have veggies and a protein based meal. So, you know, I'm eating, I think I'm eating like really healthy. I hardly have any sugars, uh, but my, I don't know, my body is not reacting well. And I've done so much research into what I should be eating because because I think my body's a little bit insulin resistant and that's what it says, it says just avoid sugars and carbs and that's what I'm doing but it's just so hard. This is what my breakfast is looking like today. So I've got a few strawberries and two boiled eggs and my Nespresso coffee. gonna go do my food shopping I don't know if it's probably the best time for me to do it because I'm kind of losing I feel like I've lost my weight loss motivation today <laughs> seeing the scales not move but the radio was just playing the top five R&B songs of all time and that kind of put me in a better mood 
and I'm seeing my mum. So that'll put me in a good mood as well. This is the earliest I've ever been to do my food shopping. It's not even nine o'clock yet, so most of the all oh, the shops are just opening now. That's a good part about waking up early though is you can get your day started early. Oh, I can see my mummy waiting for me. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> Hello, Mama. Who's you know? precious? You're precious. You're precious. <laughs> oh, dear. I posted my card. Already? Yeah. Just doing my food shopping. You guys would be proud of me. I'm being strong. <laughs> doing it for you guys, I'm not getting anything naughty. I do need my mayonnaise for my coleslaw though. <laughs> yeah, I've got everything healthy still, so. I wanted to get some beetroot but all of the tinned ones contain added sugar and I was trying, I know you can get little packs in the fresh fruit section that are just beetroot, like no added anything, but they don't have any in this little worse. It's a bit of a bugger. Just got home from the shops. Look what my beautiful mum brought me. Some tulips. She's such a sweet pie. What's he doing? Okay, I'll show you guys what I've bought. It's kind of like tradition now, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so I've got two of these um, skinless salmon portions. I also brought a little pack of smoked salmon. I like to have this in my salad. I brought some of these Jamie Oliver. These are the crispy parmesan <clears throat> and tomato smashing chicken fillets. And these are what Jay has in his salads for lunch. And then I also got two of these chicken mints. I'll probably make some meatballs or something with those. I have got two of these unsweetened vanilla almond milks. Some cat food, of course. Uh, some coleslaw salad dressing. Two punnets of strawberries. A little punnet of um, mini tomatoes, a pack of coleslaw, I've got some mandarines, um, the mandarines have been really nice lately so I thought I'd buy more of those. I got a little block of uh, Danish feta, I had some marinated feta in my salad the other day and it tasted amazing so I'd buy more feta. And then I brought two avocados, these were two for four dollars. Two heads of broccoli, even though you can't really see them. A red onion, that's to go in the salad. How good does this asparagus look? I thought that would be nice to have with dinner. Um, another bag of mixed salad greens. Some milk to go with my tea. I love the almond milk, but I don't like it in my cups of tea. It makes the tea taste really weird. Uh, I got some cream. That is like my morning treat. That I put a tiny little bit in my coffee in the morning, and it just makes my coffee taste amazing. <laughs> uh, 
I've got some Edam cheese, two Chobani yogurts, this is pa paple, maple pecan muesli and this is for Jay, he has this for breakfast with his yogurt. of smoked almonds and in this bag it's just full of um, cat food so I'll bother unpacking all of that and then I have more eggs these are my favourite eggs because they're free range and they're in a pink carton and then this is the last thing I got these barley wraps these are actually really good they're lower in they're lower in carbs and for one of these, it has uh, 1.2 grams of sugar, which is nothing, and 13 grams of carbs, which is really good compared to normal wraps, which usually contain between 30 to 40 grams of carbs. So I just thought it would be nice to have like a chicken and salad wrap or a tuna and salad wrap rather than a salad every day. And also we can use these to make uh, chicken nachos as well. So yeah. So that's everything I bought and all of that came to $135. Lunch time. I am just about to head off to the gym. I figured I was going to wait for Jay and drag him to the gym with me after work or after I pick him up from work. but. I have a feeling he won't want to go, so I'm just going to go now on my own. Um, if I can get the lid off this bottle. <laughs> I kind of have no energy, so I'm going to have some of this pre-workout powder stuff. It just kind of gives you a little buzz and yeah, it gives me a little kit of energy that I need. So. I'm actually only going to have half a scoop because it says to have one scoop but I'm usually kind of sensitive to things like these so um, yeah I'm just going to have half a scoop rather than a, f a full scoop. If I drink this on the way to the gym by the time I start working out it all kicking. <laughs> Jay up from the train. I actually had a pretty good workout. I did 21 minutes on the treadmill um, but I did interval training so I pushed myself really hard. I did 45 seconds jogging and then one minute one minute and 15 seconds walking so I did that for 21 minutes and then I did uh, upper body workouts like heaps of arms so I think my arms are going to be a bit sore tomorrow but I feel good that pre-workout actually really helped it like kicked in as soon as I started on the treadmill and um yeah I just needed it today I didn't have much energy I'm just editing my weight loss update video and I'm having a cup of tea and one of these rocky road low carb bars for a little snack I watched um the biggest loser last night one guy he's quite a big guy i think he was like he was over 200 kilos but he lost over 17 kilos in one week one week i was like oh my god that took me like over six months to lose that and he lost it in one week which is crazy and um most of them actually lost 10 kilos in a week they are they are all quite big but yeah, I don't know, it must just be a huge shock to their system, like working out and eating healthy, that they must drop that much weight. But even when I was at my biggest, I have never lost really 
more than four kilos in one week so yeah that's crazy but when this guy hopped on the scales and it he the what's her name I think her name's Fiona that hosts it she's like that's a 17 point something kilo loss in a week I'm like what <laughs> but yeah good on him I'm actually really excited to watch it tonight and see what they do anyways I better get this video video edited so you guys can all watch it for dinner tonight I am making some chicken meatballs these are chicken curry chicken coconut meatballs I've made these before and they're really tasty so I'm gonna put these in the oven for 20 minutes and we're also having coleslaw with it and some asparagus so a really healthy dinner tonight and I just wanted to mention my mood has actually just done like a 180 degree turn is that right 180 it's done a whole turn I am like feeling really good right now I don't know if it's because I went to the gym and like the endorphins have kind of come in or actually that was it I was doing um, at the gym I was standing in front of the mirror and I was doing some bicep curls and um, just like some arm workouts and I was looking at my body and I'm starting to look really good and yeah just I don't know I think seeing my body starting to look good I mean it's not skinny by any means and it's not like I don't know it's just not obese anymore I'm just starting to look normal like not ugly fat if that makes sense but yeah just seeing my body looking starting to look good starting to change is yeah made me feel happy I just felt good so I just wanted to let you guys know I'm I'm not down in the dumps anymore my mood has changed I have to stop focusing so much on what the scales say I kind of am letting the scales dictate my life and I shouldn't like why should a little scale make my mood change like it doesn't make sense does it when you think about it so I just I'm just not gonna focus on what the scale says our dinners are all done they actually look really yummy I'm excited to eat this now uh, so I'm gonna go watch The Biggest Loser which is very exciting <laughs> and then just enjoy the rest of the night with my hubby so I hope you've all enjoyed my vlog tonight or today <laughs> and I will see you all again really soon bye usually this is where I would start to give up on my weight loss journey when I don't see any results for a while I 